Hey, Simon here, and today I want to show you how to spawn particles from the surface of an actor. And it starts with the import of the actor. It's important to import it as skeletal. Even if it's just a simple teapot uh, I just exported, just click here, import as skeletal, because the bones are needed. And if there are no bones, what you will see here when you open the, when you open the teapot, and click on skeleton, there is one bone created, even if in 3D Studio Max or your 3D application was no bone setup made. So we have to remember this name, teapot001. Okay, and what you do now is open your particle system. And of course you can drag and drop the teapot in the scene so that we see what happens. And now you open your particle system and add one node here which is under location and it's called um, skeletal vertex surface location. You click it and here you see different stuff. This name is important, you just um, copy and paste it now. And what you want to do is here, valid associated bones. This is important. You have to add one element and here you enter teapot001. Teapot okay. The whole the whole teapot is wicked to this one bone. And the particle system will create particles on the vertices which are weighted to this bone. So we just edit it, save, and here we are done now. And what we have to do now is click on the particle system in the scene so that we have these options here and add an instance parameter. Click plus and here we have to add this name what, which was defined here, vertex surface actor. Um, and have to define the param type as an actor. And here we have to now choose the teapot. And now the particles are created on the surface of this actor. I hope you liked this small tutorial and I hope it was useful. And if it was, uh, feel free to write me a comment or give me a hint how to do it better next time. Bye bye.